the rest of the tour today's project, we're going to uh, set plan our brake lines. It's going to something you can do yourself with a simple tool that you can purchase. Um, see my brake master cylinder, um, the brake, brake fluid is um, dirty and it's also low. Uh, so we're going to pump our, our four lines out and um, we, feel, we're gonna, we feel it as we go, but um, the, um, the, the fluid should clear up. So um, today's project, cleaning your brake lines on this 1998 Ford Explorer, um, stand by the Versity 2. My brake master cylinder and my brake fluid is black, you can see. So you want to pump our lines out and get all that cleared up. It's also a little low. 1998 Ford. We're also on the uh, uh, Mercury Mountaineer, the sports track. Um, pretty much the same thing, but um, here, here you go. Uh, cleaning the brake lines on 1998 Ford Explorer. Get the cap off. Get to add some fluid here. Fill it up. And don't let it get low while you're pumping. Okay, our next step is um, coming to the um, the right rear, the furthest away from the brake master cylinder and we're going to work with that line first because you have to find a tool to fit your, um, your brake line here. Um, release valve. This is on the rear right, the furthest way. Work with that one first. We're going to work our way to the um, the left rear, then the um, right front, then left front. But we're going to work with this one first. So, got to get the right tool to fit around the nut. And this is a uh, three eighth. Let make sure it fits around the nut here. It fits. We have to close up. My next step to make sure that fits, so I'm going to push forward to open it up to release uh, the brake fluid. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to put my hose on from this um, self pumping tool. You're going to pump with your hand to um, pump out the um, bubbles out of your brake line and, and the, the um, dirty brake fluid into a, a container. So just stand by. We're going to do that next. So we got step one. We got the um, brake master cylinder filled up with fluid. We came back here on the uh, very f the furthest one away from the brake master cylinder, uh, the um, right rear. We located where the um, brake fluid comes out, and we got our wrench up there, ready to uh, push forward to um, release. But we're going to put our our uh, hose on first with this uh, system to um, make sure we don't get any air up in there. We want to we, we want to pump the air out, but not let any air get in. So stand by. Okay, I'm connecting my hose. You gotta find one that fits really snug. I'm gonna put it on there. Squeeze it on. Make sure it's on real snug. Okay, I got my hose on there. This tool can be purchased at Harbor Freight. It's a self-pumping brake tool. Okay, I'm gonna pump a few times just to Get some uh, pressure going here. You can get this tool from Harbor Freight. Get some pressure build up here. Just gonna pump it before I open up my line. And I'm gonna open up my. I'm gonna just push forward to get the line open. When I do that, you should see the fluid start to flow through. You see the bubbles starting to flow through the line here. Air coming out of the line along with um, dirty brake fluid. 
אז אני פה. Close my line back by uh, bringing, close it, pull, push, pushing it back toward me, closing my line back, and then uh, seals, seals everything up until I get this dirty fluid emptied out and just repeat the process. So let's, going back up here, pushing my tool forward over the nut. And the air is coming out of the line along with the dirty brake fluid. Coming all the way down into this container I have here. Can I get a better close up? There's no air going out, but air is coming out. You can keep pumping until you fill up this small container here. It's kind of hard to keep it up right, but I'm, everything's still sealed even though it's laying sideways. So I'm pumping and pumping. Do nothing black in. You can see the dirty brake fluid is coming in here. And it's still coming out. Let's keep, keep working with this line until you get all the bubbles out and dirty brake fluid and keep filling up your uh, brake master cylinder to make sure it doesn't go dry. Let me close off my line. Again, we're back at the um, brake master cylinder. We're going to fill him up again. All that pumping drains this down. You don't want it, you don't want it to drain out. So just fill it back up, top it off. You can see that the big mess of the cylinder is starting to clear up also. Already. I just did one line so far. For diversity too. Clean your brake lines on your 1998 Ford Explorer. And basically um, any vehicle uh, for that matters. Very simple job to do. No problem. Okay, once you're, once you're done with this this one just simply uh, going to lock off your, your line by pulling back toward you and pull your tube off the line. You fill a vacuum, instead of the vacuum on there, that's good. And uh, get your tool off. Just move on to the, the next one, which would be the uh, left rear. And just repeat the process. Okay, that job is done. You see my uh, brake master cylinder uh, brake fluid is um, clear now. So my master cylinder um, is back up to where it's supposed to be, the level, and I, I did all four lines uh, right under 30 minutes. So you can do it yourself. This is I'm um, cleaning your brake lines by yourself with a tool from Harbor Freight, so diversity tool. Thanks for watching. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Get all your lines cleared out, get your brake master cylinder uh, filled back up to where it goes. Go inside before you start it up and um, pump the brakes, get the pressure built back up there. And you're good to go. Diversity too.